We'll begin our roundup of day nine at the Stade Velodrome, where it all looked to be going wrong for Paris Saint-Germain in the so-called Classique against Marseille. Thiago Motta has shown a straight red card here in the 31st minute for this challenge on Mathieu Valbuena and a penalty for Marseille. The Ghanaian made absolutely no mistake from the spot, blasting this one past Salvatore Sirigu to make it 1-0 and send the velodrome into raptures. But in spite of being a man down, PSG fought back. They equalised on the stroke of half-time through Maxwell, getting on the end of a Gregory van der Veel cross there. And the capital club showed their grit and determination as they even found a winner in the second half. Edinson Cavani looking to get on the end of this one. The ball ran loose and Marquinhos was brought down by Andre Ayew. Going from hero to villain for the home side and giving Zlatan Ibrahimovic the chance to make it 2-1 to the visitors, which he did, no problem. His third goal of the season and it finished 2-1 to Paris. Monaco nevertheless remained at the top of the league on table after a 2-1 win of their own at home to Saint Etienne. Hamas Rodriguez with the lovely ball here for Yannick Ferreira Carrasco to make it 1-0. The young Belgian under-21 international, his first goal in Ligue 1. Saint Etienne did improve after the break. After a talking to from Christophe Galtier, Roman Hamouma bringing them level shortly after the half-time. But this was to be Monaco's day. Hamas Rodriguez, who was back in the starting lineup of Claudio Ranieri's men, with another assist, this time for Lucas Ocampos. His first league and goal, a 2 1 win for Monaco. Lille took the lead at home to Ajaxia through Pap Suare, heading in his first goal as well. There was a lot on this ninth day, an ideal way to celebrate extending his contract this week. Another Senegalese youngster then scored his first league on goal. Idrissa Gay rifling home after Solomon Kalou had been toying with the Corsican defence. And after an excellent all-round performance, Kalou got on the score sheet as well after Guillermo Ochoa had blocked Ronnie Rodland's shot from outside the area. 3-0, it finished at Stade Pierre Mourroy. Well, Nantes are very much the surprise package of the early part of this league on campaign. Took them just 1 minute and 52 seconds to go 1-0 up against Evian Tonangaya. Philip Djordjejic with his fifth goal of the season and the fastest that anyone has scored in Ligue 1 so far. Well, a second followed for the serve in just the 34th minute. He was perfectly placed to slot home here after Bertrand Lacquet fumbled. And Nantes then wrapped up a fine performance with a third goal in the 65th minute. This one courtesy of their central defender, Papi Gilabodji. 3-1 for Nantes then. And the Canaries are flying high. Well, meanwhile, things are going from bad to worse for Lyon, who were hammered away to Montpellier on Sunday afternoon. Well, the first goal came after a neat interchange of passes. Suleiman Kimara for Benjamin Stambouli. He nipped through to Remy Cabela. It was eventually a Victor Hugo Montagno, the Colombian, who swept home at the second time of asking. That to make it 1-0 to the hosts. Well, Cabela then whipped in a corner for Anthony Mounier to make it 2-0 against his former club. Well, just after the restart, Alexandre Lacazette hit one back for Leon. A superb individual effort there to make it 2-1. A Cabela penalty made it 3-1. And the floodgates were simply open from that point onwards. Cabela slipping in his second for 4-1. And the 23-year-old then wrapped up a stunning individual performance. Two goals and three assists on the afternoon as he crossed in for Montagno to power in his second with this header. 5-1 and Leon slumping to their heaviest defeat in 13 years. Toulouse got back to winning ways with a victory at home to Nice. The only goal of the game coming courtesy of Wissam Ben Yedda in the 34th minute. The man who was Toulouse's leading goal scorer last season. Making no mistake there, getting away from Timothée Kolodzizak. Fine ball in from Essia Lassila. Finished 1-0. Well, meanwhile, up in Brittany, Rennes fell to their second straight derby defeat. 
Jeremy Sorbonne putting Gangar 1 0 up at the start at Ruderu. It was a really bad day for Philippe Montagnier's side, who had two central defenders stretched off. They also lost Nelson Oliveira after he was booked twice. Mustafa Yatabara making sure of the points here in the 69th minute. A rather nasty clash between the three men, but either way, it finished 2 0 to Gangon. Bastia got week nine underway on Friday night with an impressive home win over Lorient. It took only six minutes for Riyad Boudabouz to open the scoring. That his first goal in a Bastia shirt since signing from Socio. Wabi Kazri then made it 2-0 from the penalty spot with this cheeky Penankia. Lorient did pull one back through Mathieu Coutador. Although he did have a little bit of help from Bastia defender François-Joseph Modesto. Catching out Michelandro there. But Milos Krasic, the former Juventus man, restored the two-goal cushion with this cheeky finish. And there was even time for Romerick to head in his first league young goal. 4-1, it finished in Furiano. <laughs> Bottom club at Valenciennes found themselves a goal down at home to Rans as Prince Onyange headed in a Floyd Ayite corner. But Daniel Sanchez may well have at least another week on the VA bench after his men rescued a point at the death. Eloge Enzi Yamisi bringing an end to a miserable run of seven straight defeats for Valenciennes. They finished at 1 1 at the Stade du Hainaut. Well, finally, after claiming their first win of the season last week, Socho got off to the perfect start away to Bordeaux on Sunday. Roy Contu picking up a loose ball at the back post and rifling 19th place Socho in front. But 17th place, Bordeaux reacted quickly. Henri Seve bringing him level with this superbly struck penalty just a few minutes later. And around six minutes before half time, they went 2 1 up. Mariano crossing in for his fellow Brazilian, Jussier, making no mistake from close range and giving Bordeaux a deserved lead after they had created a host of chances. And in the second half, they took advantage of some sleepy Socho defending Bordeaux. Diego Rolon, and it fell for Sheikh Diabate. That's his first goal at home this season at Chaban Delmas. And his second didn't take long to come either. His fifth of the season overall. A wonderful Penenka style finish of his own there to wrap up a wonderful 4-1 win for Bordeaux. Well, a goal fest then before we head into the international break. 33 goals overall in this ninth week. Big home wins for Monaco, Lille and Nantes. Some fantastic results, of course, for Montpellier and Bordeaux. The only away win of the weekend, Paris Saint-Germain in Marseille. So in the table, Monaco and Paris Saint-Germain are now four points clear of Lille, who go third ahead of Marseille on goal difference. Promoted Nantes are fifth, while Saint-Étienne slipped to seventh. Valenciennes remained bottom of the pile with Socio just ahead of them and Lorient 18th on goal difference. Lyon are down in 14th place with just 11 points from nine games so far this season. So Ligue 1 returns in a fortnight then after the international break. Nice will welcome Marseille to the Alliance Riviera before PSG host Bastia and Monaco travel to Socio. Lyon and Bordeaux round things out for us on Sunday night.